Hey tech fans, welcome to the Friday edition of Tech Stocks Daily. We've got a power-packed episode. Adobe's earnings crush expectations with AI-fueled growth sending their stocks sky high. Google faces legal heat in Austria while battling ad blockers and offering tempting pixel deals. Tesla's drama intensifies with shareholder lawsuits and eye-popping AI claims. And Netflix shakes things up with live sports broadcasting and an unexpected drop off the must-have list. Get ready for a whirlwind of tech excitement that'll rev up your weekend. Let's dive in. Today, we've got a spicy dish of Adobe news that's hotter than a fresh off the press meme. Adobe Inc. was all over the headlines, and here's why. Their fiscal second quarter results are out, and let me tell you, they crushed it. First off, Adobe reported revenue of $5.31 billion. That's a whopping 10% increase year over year. They didn't just casually stroll past the analyst estimates, they sprinted ahead, leaving the $5.29 billion forecast in the dust. And if you think that's impressive, wait till you hear about their adjusted earnings per share, $4.48, surpassing the market expectations of $4.39. Adobe isn't just raising the bar, they're doing acrobatics over it. So what fueled this meteoric rise? No surprise here, it's their stellar digital media segment, which includes Creative Cloud and Document Cloud. Net new annualized recurring revenue for this segment hit $487 million as users upgraded to access Adobe's generative AI tools. Looks like everyone wants a piece of that AI pie. Adobe CEO Shantanu Narayan proudly announced record revenue driven by strong growth in Creative Cloud, Document Cloud, and Experience Cloud. No economic slump here, folks. Adobe's riding high on the AI wave. The tech giant has bumped up its guidance for the full year, now expecting earnings per share between 18, 18, 20 cents. They also predict revenues clocking in between 21.40 billion and 21.50 billion. These supercharged figures have a lot to do with their robust AI offerings, which are being eagerly snapped up by creative professionals everywhere. Speaking of AI, Adobe's proprietary Firefly has set the creative world on fire. Integrated into several flagship products like Photoshop and Illustrator, Firefly has produced over 9 billion images. And they're not stopping there. Premiere, Adobe's video editing software, is next in line to get the Firefly upgrade. This innovative step keeps Adobe ahead in the competitive race against other tech giants like Salesforce and ServiceNow, not to mention the nimble AI startups nipping at their heels. But it doesn't stop at products. Investor sentiment has been buoyant as well. Adobe's stock skyrocketed by 14% after the earnings announcement. If that's not a reason to cheer, what is? Investors saw a 15% bump in pre-market trading, with shares topping out at 527.15. Financial analysts are upping their price targets and lauding Adobe's forward-looking strategy. They foresee more significant gains from AI applications in the back half of 2024. Various analysts had their say, highlighting Adobe's impressive NR and upbeat tone regarding the economic environment and AI adoption. BMO Capital Markets, KeyBank Capital Markets, and Baffa Securities all gave their nods of approval, pointing out Adobe's solid quarter and the successful monetization of their AI tools like Express, Firefly, and Document Cloud. In summary, Adobe's latest earnings report is just a snapshot of their ongoing dominance in the creative software space. They're not just sticking the landing, they're doing it with style, innovation, and a bright AI-powered future. Watch out world, Adobe is setting new creative and financial benchmarks. Today, Google is making headlines for a few spicy reasons. Let's dive into the key stories that are causing ripples in the tech world today. First off, Google is embroiled in a legal kerfuffle in Austria. The advocacy group NoYB has filed a complaint against Google for allegedly tracking users on its Chrome browser. Now Google has been phasing out third-party cookies in favor of a suite of tools called the Privacy Sandbox, aimed at curbing covert tracking and improving user privacy. But NoYB isn't convinced. They argue that even with this new feature, Google still tracks users within the browser and fails to get their consent, which is a big no-no according to European Union privacy regulations. This has caught the attention of EU antitrust regulators, who are already looking into Google's practices. If this sounds familiar, it could be because Google settled a major lawsuit in the US last year over similar issues. Next up, on the home turf of its video platform YouTube, Google is making waves by stepping up its war against ad blockers. YouTube is experimenting with server-side ad injection, basically embedding ads directly into the video streams. This means ad blockers are going to have a really tough time skipping those pesky ads. According to 9to5Google and confirmed by ad blocker extension SponsorBlock, this new method makes ads indistinguishable from the actual video content. It's a clever but controversial way to protect their ad revenue and push users towards YouTube Premium. But hold on, Google isn't just drawing flack today. They're also dabbling in some good news for their Pixel fans. Google has rolled out a special offer in the UK, slashing the prices of the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro by more than 20% and a third respectively. They're also throwing in a hefty trade-in discount, which means some lucky users could practically get their hands on a new Pixel for free. This comes hot on the heels of a similar deal in the US just last week. With the Pixel 9 not expected until October, this looks like a strategic move to get people into the Pixel ecosystem sooner rather than later. And finally, let's talk about the AI race. Bloomberg has revealed that Apple's new AI features are actually running on Google's data centers. 
Apple leaned on Google's tensor processing units to train their AI models. This clandestine partnership caused quite a scramble at Google, internally nicknamed an OMG incident. Yep, it was that urgent. Despite being competitors, this partnership underscores how even the biggest tech giants need to collaborate when it comes to AI advancements. Interestingly, Google and Apple were also rumored to be discussing bringing Google's Gemini AI to iOS, but nothing concrete has emerged yet. So there you have it, folks. With legal battles, ad wars, pixel deals, and unlikely partnerships, Google is certainly giving us a lot to talk about today. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates because the tech world is moving faster than those YouTube ads you can't skip. Buckle up, folks, because today's tech news is dominated by Tesla, and it's as electrifying as one of their Model S plaids doing 0 to 60. Let's dive into all the buzz surrounding Elon Musk and his roller coaster of a week. First up, Musk's eye popping $56 billion pay package. After a controversial saga that saw a Delaware judge initially void the package in January, Tesla's shareholders threw their weight behind Musk during the annual shareholders meeting. But wait, this doesn't mean the payout is guaranteed. The next hurdle is convincing the skeptical Delaware judge to greenlight it. Despite small investors backing Musk, the package still faces significant opposition due to recent declines in Tesla's sales and stock prices. Imagine $56 billion potentially dangling by a legal thread. That's more drama than your favorite courtroom TV show. And in true Musk fashion, he's staying optimistic, but what a tangled web they're weaving in Delaware's Court of Chancery. Parallel to this high-stakes paycheck plot, we're serving up another hefty scoop. Tesla's investors are suing Musk for allegedly diverting resources to his new AI startup, XAI. They claim this competing company is siphoning off Tesla's AI talent and data. Yikes. According to the lawsuit, Musk raised billions for XAI while touting its access to Tesla's AI resources. The complaint alleges Musk diverted key AI talent, including snagging Tesla's computer vision team lead, Ethan Knight. They argue this shift isn't just a bad look, it's bad for business, especially when Tesla is championing its self-driving capabilities. And then we move on to what might as well be classified as Elon's greatest hits. During Tesla's shareholder meeting, he boasted that Tesla's AI and chip design are so advanced, no other company's chips come close. Cue to Musk's claim that Tesla is leading the real-world AI race, surpassing the likes of Google, Meta, and even OpenAI. Oh, and he couldn't resist throwing shade at Apple's deal with ChatGPT. Bold statements are practically Musk's love language, aren't they? Speaking of bold, how's this for a doozy? Musk declared that Tesla's Optimus humanoid robots could someday bump the company's market cap to a staggering $25 trillion. Yes, trillion, with a T. For context, that's more than half the value of the entire S&P 500 today. He likened Tesla's future to a mix of futuristic sci-fi and mind-boggling robotics. Musk envisions a world where Optimus robots could do everything from factory work to teaching your kids. Talk about taking your helpful home assistant to the next level. Despite Tesla's stocks taking a 27% dip this year, Musk encouraged investors to look beyond the slump to a future gleaming with innovations in autonomous driving, AI, and robots. He even claimed that Tesla's in-house silicon surpasses NVIDIA's when it comes to inference. Bold promises, or just Musk being Musk, only time will tell. So there you have it, folks. Whether Musk is in your good books or bad, you can't deny that the man knows how to keep Tesla in the spotlight. Now stay tuned to see how all these court dramas, AI advancements, and ambitious plans play out. It's never a dull moment with Tesla, and today was no exception. We've got a jam-packed day of Netflix news, and I'm here to break it all down for you. So grab your popcorn, and let's dive right in. First up, Netflix announced that it will release its second quarter 2024 financial results on July 18th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Mark your calendars. After that, the co-CEOs Ted Sarandos and Greg Peters, along with their finance brainiacs, will go live on YouTube to discuss the numbers and answer questions from sell-side analysts. So if you're a Netflix stockholder or just curious about how the streaming giant is doing, this is your opportunity to get the scoop straight from the horse's mouth. Check out the Investor Relations website or their YouTube channel to tune in. In more exciting and somewhat alarming news for Netflix, recent data from Hub Entertainment Research shows that YouTube has booted Netflix out of the top five must-have entertainment services. That's right, folks. Not just one, but four of YouTube services have made it into the top five, including YouTube Premium, Free YouTube, YouTube TV, and YouTube Music. Netflix has been a staple for years, so this shift is a big deal. Even though Netflix still maintains a hefty subscriber base, it's clear that people are gravitating towards YouTube's diverse services. Keeping things sporty, Netflix is making a major pivot by diving into live sports broadcasting. They're currently on the hunt for a production partner to broadcast NFL games on Christmas Day and beyond into 2025 and 2026. They've had talks with some big-time broadcasters like Disney, Comcast, and Paramount Global. But it's not smooth sailing. Disney is already booked with college football commitments, and other partners could have conflicting interests. Not to mention, Amazon has already bagged a deal with NBC Universal for their NFL games. Netflix moving into live sports is a big departure from their traditional on-demand model and could be a game-changer for their platform. 
Analysts are buzzing about Netflix's potential to tap into more revenue streams, especially by monetizing the up to 40 million borrowers who are currently sharing accounts. The company's approach to diversify content, including live events like the upcoming boxing match between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, is all part of its broader strategy to keep subscribers hooked and attract new ones. In stock market news, Netflix had a little roller coaster ride closing slightly up at $653.26, but then dipping in pre market trading. The volatile nature of stocks keeps investors on their toes, but the company's multifaceted strategies indicate they're aiming for long term gains. All right, folks, that's the Netflix rundown for today. What do you think about Netflix branching into live sports? Are you surprised they got knocked off the top five must have list? Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more daily tech updates. Catch you in the next one. Over and out. All right, tech fam, today we're zeroing in on Adobe. With their latest earnings report blowing expectations out of the water, it begs the question, should you buy, sell, or hold? Let's break it down. Adobe just reported a jaw-dropping 10% year-over-year revenue increase, landing at $5.31 billion, which is not just surpassing Wall Street expectations, but setting a new standard for themselves. And let's not forget their adjusted earnings per share hit $4.48, outpacing the predicted $4.39. That's like stepping on the gas and leaving the competition eating your dust. Their digital media segment is where the magic's happening, with users flocking to upgrade for Adobe's cutting-edge generative AI tools. Adding even more sizzle, their Firefly AI has already churned out over 9 billion images and is gearing up to revolutionize Premiere for video editing. Adobe isn't just in the creative software game, they're owning it. And hey, the market knows it. Adobe stock shot up by 14% post-earnings. They also raised their guidance for 2024, predicting juicy numbers with earnings per share between $18 and $18.20, and revenue projected between $21.40 billion and $21.50 billion. Analyst sentiment? Overwhelmingly positive, highlighting Adobe's ability to monetize AI tools and maintain an upbeat outlook even amid economic uncertainties. So, my recommendation? It's a strong buy. Adobe is leading the pack in AI-integrated creative tools, and the market is responding. They're not just setting records in the creative industry, they're setting them in the stock market too. However, remember folks, this is just my take based on the current news and data. Always do your own research and consider your financial situation before making any investment decisions. The stock market isn't just about numbers, it's about strategy. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments. What a whirlwind of tech excitement today. Adobe's sky-high earnings have set a new gold standard. Google is navigating a maze of legal and ad wars, Tesla's keeping us on our toes with everything from billion-dollar paychecks to robot dreams, and Netflix is shaking up its game with live sports aspirations. If you enjoyed this tech rundown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. We'll be back on Monday with more juicy updates to kickstart your week. Have an awesome weekend, everyone.